Hello everyone, uh, I'm here again uh, to do a video, but I'm going to only do videos once a week now. Um, and if they're for extra credit, then uh, what's going to happen is that uh, they'll say extra credit in front of them, and then it'll say extra credit video or something like that for the week. Um, and these videos are going to have a theme now. Uh, once a week I'm going to do some project where I need to fix something around the house, and I'm going to use a 3D printer to fix it so I have a problem. I'll come up with a design. I'll print it, see if it works. If it does, cool. If not, what I'll do is go back to the drawing board, and you'll see all the process of all the failed things I make. And uh, and it'll be a cool process. And um, then I'll have to start assigning probably like once a week something for you guys to work on that's going to be something for the class. And so it looks like um, you know we're extended till May now. Uh, I have to start giving regular assignments. So I'll start giving some regular assignments. Um, but uh, in the meanwhile, I know some people have some problems getting laptops or whatnot. So I, I'm giving that extra week. Uh, to the end of this week, technically till Tuesday next week, because there's no school Friday, no school Monday because of the holiday. So I'm giving everybody till uh, Tuesday next week to finish this uh, OSHA approved thing I signed a couple weeks back. Uh, so if you're done with it, yeah, you don't have anything to work on, I guess. Um, uh, you can just do these extra credit things and watch these videos. And uh, so this week, uh, I'm going to try to patch up a uh, something on the side of my house, and I'll show it to you right now. And uh, something I did a while back, and I'm going to try to fix it. So check this out and uh, tell me what you guys think. So uh, here's my uh, project I'm going to be working on this week. Uh, this is the eaves of my house. So if you look underneath uh, the eaves of my house, the bathroom window and whatnot, um, I have this one hole here. And what it was was there's a bathroom here. And then I ran a vent out. When you turn the light on, it turns this vent on and it blows the air out. And uh, you can see there's a hole in it right now. It was really cheaply done. I, I put the wood in there and I put the vent out. I needed to cover it up so bugs didn't go in and out. And I covered it with like screen door mesh and then uh, it caused too much back pressure and then I ended up having to rip it. Um, it looks really ugly too. So I'm gonna create a 3D printed vent cover that fits exactly there because the ones they sell online is not gonna fit right in that spot. So let's see how that turns out. So here it is, I love it with all the stuff removed, all the gunk, you know, so I cleared it out a little bit so I can get a better, clearer picture of what the measurements are going to be like. So let me uh, measure them. Uh, if you look, it looks like it's about six inches or so. I might go a little bit longer just to be safe, but about six inches, probably a little bit longer just to have some room for some screws. And then if you look at the height of this wood, Let's see, it's about three and a half inches. So that's what I'm going to do. Make a vent like that. So um, here I am uh, making this Infusion 360. And uh, I'm uh, just designing the square shape. General in size, looks like three and a half inches by six and a half inches. That's the general shape of this whole wide object. Um, I'm rounding out the corners. That's called filleting the corners. So they look rounded. Looks a little bit nicer than just sharp squares. Here I'm adding a little spot where the screw is going to go. I could have just dropped a hole right in the middle, like on the sides of the square without having anything sticking out of the sides, but I think it looks a little bit better because I'm going to have vents in the big square part, the big rectangular section is going to have a bunch of little slots later. So I'm adding this little, um, this little thing. Now I, I added that little arc right there, you see it dark blue, and I'm going to mirror it off that line. That's why I added that little orange line so I can mirror it off to the other side. I realized that it wasn't perfect, so I think I went back, I think I undo it right here if I remember right. Yeah, there we go. I undo it because I didn't like how it wasn't smooth on the other side. I didn't have that orange line right there. It wasn't perfectly in the center. Now it is. So I mirror it over to the other side. I clear it out. Now I have to add a little hole for the screw. And I think I chose a quarter of an inch. Now, you can see how long that took me. So what I do is I actually, um, I'm going to mirror that to the right side. So I need a line in the middle here. That's what I'm doing now. I'm making sure it's perfectly in the middle. Then I'm going to highlight that thing I just added and say mirror it to the other side. There it goes. So I don't have to redraw it over there. Uh, and it's perfectly mirrored. So it's like a, now the bottom right corner, I didn't fillet it for some reason there. Now it's rounded. Um, and uh, this is in four times, by the way. So this takes a total of about 12 minutes, I think, for me to make this whole thing. There, I just turned it into 3D. So I, I puffed it out, um, my drawing. I puffed it out, what's called extruding. Uh, a quarter of an inch. So I made it a quarter of inch thick, which is plenty thick. Um, now I'm adding a vent, but I'm trying to decide how wide this vent is. I end up making two of these. You'll see that video in a second. So uh, this is the second white version that I made. And uh, I'm just working that out perfect. 
Then once you draw that square, that vent, there's a tool up in the top that's called a copy or, or pattern tool. That's what it is. And you can make patterns in rectangular patterns, or you can make uh, you can make rectangular patterns and circular patterns. This is a rectangular pattern. There we go. So I don't have to redraw that over and over again. So I'm just trying to get those measurements right, see how many vents I can actually fit in there and space them out properly using that tool. Um, and uh, I think once I decide, I say, okay, I'm done. And it draws all those rectangles for me. Now I'm selecting them all. And I'm going to extrude downward. You see the arrows putting up right now. There, it's going to go down. There we go. And I cut through. There we go. Now the edges, all the edges of this thing are just kind of sharp edges. They're just, they don't look nice. So I'm selecting them all. I have a little difficulty here. Um, it doesn't like to do it because these little thin pieces of metal, uh, those little thin parts of the vents are so thin that I had difficulty rounding to the amount I wanted to. I end up figuring it out. So it's called filleting, by the way. And so I'm just filleting the edges just to give them a nice brown finish. It looks more finished. So there I am selecting them all. And uh, I think I get it right about here. I end up doing one there. You see that rounding edges it just did? You'll see a little bit better as I angle it here in a minute. Um, the middle ones, all those little tiny vents in the center, I have a little bit of difficulty with them. Also, if you notice that the, it's kind of off center, but there it and is. There it is, all made. You just pull this thing up and just peels right off here. And we'll go see what it looks like. By the way, I designed this with a countersink. You guys see how it goes in a little bit for the head of the screw? So that that thing sits like that. You guys see that? And, it, and the, the, the screw sits flatter inside. There it is cleaned up a little bit. Um, and uh, here's the one you saw me just make right now gonna go right there it looks pretty cool but I did make a first one right here I think it was a little too small it'll fit I think it's just right I kind of like that one too I don't know which one I'm gonna do I'll decide well there it is um, the paints not pretty because I don't have a paintbrush I only have this little roller thing that don't fit so I'll, I'll fix the paint later but the vent, it covers that hole. I know it's not going to carry, uh, <clears throat> it's not going to keep uh, like bugs on stuff, but really it's just made to keep like mice, rats, birds and stuff from nesting up inside there. Uh, you're never going to stop all the bugs from getting in your house. But there it is. Pretty cool. All done. And that concludes this week's uh, project.